and all over my untouched lips. I watch my dancing young ladies and marvel. Who have sent so many of you? Will I, will I say I'm Pat Byrne or will I say yeah. I'm Pat? Well, that's up to you. I'm Pat. I'm uh, an Isle Painter based in Leash in Dunamore. Primary focus of my work at the minute is folklore and mythology. Irish folklore and mythology it has been for the last seven or eight years. When I first read the piece of writing, I, I did like the poem itself though. Um, it was just a panic of knowing I only had four weeks to try and get this done. I kind of gave myself two days just to have a bit of time to think about it as well like but after the first couple of days I didn't go back to it because I was like right okay that's what I'm kind of taking from it sort of spur of the moment kind of so that's what I'm going to go with I, I've been painting like the slew of character from Irish mythology quite a bit and for some unknown reason I decided to uh, try and do that and it was just a bit of a nightmare really and backed out that straight away at the minute what I'm thinking of doing is uh, dancer it's about four weeks ago since I read it like oh I did like it I didn't want to go back and reread it either because I was afraid that if I reread it now kind of it's gonna oh, oh I'm actually that up completely wrong and now I've lost maybe two weeks or whatever you know especially writing as well I'm always kind of afraid like I'm interpreting this completely wrong I probably missed the point of most artwork myself anyway like once I kind of got a rough idea of the direction I thought I was going to go in it's changed a good few times like and um <clears throat> at one point I was like okay I'll go do an oil painting um but then I was kind of I wanted I was kind of sorry to really maybe think about doing um an ink drawn or something and then I didn't need myself enough time to get the materials I needed anyway. I have the sketch that's going to be on the canvas of the figure but in terms of like the actual composition it's gone through in my head and it's gone through like four or five different stages kind of without really settling on anything. I don't know one of the early kind of things I, ideas I had but I kind of pushed it away because it's like it's too literal. I was going to maybe have a kind of a for some reason have like a sort of ripple done with gold leaf coming around and it's like why am I putting a ripple in? Like, there's no mention of a ripple in the poem. I'd rather someone go in and completely miss the point of me work and take away their own meaning rather than me, well, this is what it's actually about. You know, like even with the folklore stuff, if someone completely missed the point of sort of the leprechaun, the pook and all that, being unemployed because no one believes in them anymore, if they completely miss that grand, if you like the colours, sound, you know, that'll, that'll do me. I'm happy enough with that. Normally, my process is like, I'll, I'll get a load of photos and I'll sketch them out. Or I'll pick out the ones that I like the best and eventually break it down to like just the one um, that I'm happiest with and I'll sketch that out then. And once I'm happy with the sketch, I will just get traced, uh, trace off the sketch and transfer it over onto the canvas. I think of the many parts we must play, spinning, spinning our lives away. Do we ever stop to listen? The process will be the same every time, uh, a good lot of time anyway. The ritual that I'd have for paint would normally be I belt on into the studio and I'd mix up a few of the colours and I'd just start blocking it in. Usually I'll take the first day to just block in and I might even kill myself. I had like I'll just get the whole thing filled in and even if it only takes you know, if it takes a whole day or if it only takes ten minutes, I'll go away from it then until the next day and then come back. And I'll try and get in like at least five hours a day if I can or more. Depending on how it's going. Like if it, if it's if the paint starting to go wrong or it's kind of annoying because I, I tend to work wet and wet and you know sometimes like the paint can build up and it'll just get messy. If it's just not working out, I'll just go away from it. I might just scrape it off and start again. I kind of landed on the figure in the painting. I suppose it was the quote about the uh, the Celtic red hair. Again, I tried to use the, the slew of um, shoehorning some of my own kind of themes into it, but just, I couldn't get a photo that I wanted. And at the same time, it was kind of, that's what it was. It was just been shoehorned in, so it didn't work. Um, and when I got the dancer, I felt like, great grand, that's one piece of the puzzle done, but I was still sort of going back and messing with the idea of using the ripple with the gold leaf but I just felt like I was going to be interpreting the title of the project more than the poem itself so I was kind of playing around with that and how to try to figure out a way that I could maybe make the ripple more abstract like doing it just with little circles but like freehand was no way I was going to have to do perfect circles of gold leaf so I I think uh, there was a line about the leaves and that the fluttering of leaves or something in the poem so I said I'd try doing something with that. With this I actually did two sketches so I did the sketch of the woman jumping in the air and then I did a separate sketch of all the leaves just so I could kind of trace them off and put them down over sketch the woman and see where they were lining up so kind of without really realising that I kind of was I suppose making deliberate decisions where I wanted the leaves to go to work and just gone in kind of randomly. I think I went through about probably eight or nine different in my head iterations of what it might be you know even different poses for the the, the figure in it um, but it was just yeah annoying enough. I was, like, I'm happy with how it's going so far and 
I did. Lo I loved the, the collaboration actually because I haven't done that. I don't know if I've done. I'd say I haven't done that since college. That kind of thing, like you know, and jumping one of the steps to the overall project was really nice. I was working from something completely fresh again. It wasn't just here's the character from the folklore that I work with. It was just you know I'm someone else's work as well. So I wanted to try and make sure that I got maybe what they were trying to get out of work. Like you know, I didn't want to. Yeah, you know, I was. My, I suppose my biggest fear with it was that I'm going to do a painting and it's going to look like well, he didn't even read the piece of writing. Like you know, he, he just what's this? I am happy with it actually with the painting that I've done so far. Again, that was my biggest fear at all. Like with the ripple, I was afraid like, is it too literal? Like, am I just taking because it's a dancer? It's just again something different to what I normally do. I love painting for the first time a little bit. I was having fun with it. I suppose it was that fact too that I didn't really have a definite idea in my head of where I wanted the work to go, so I was changing. As I was doing it, like you know, um, but uh, yeah, no, I um, I really enjoyed this, and I'm happy enough with how it's going. So.